So I haven't made a video in a long time. So I'm making a video right now. Oops. Um, it's Sunday, June 24th, 2023. Um, I forgot what time it is. I think it's like nine o'clock in the morning, 9.30. I just dropped my dog off at daycare um, because I'm working a double shift today. I'm working from like 12 o'clock to 11.30. Uh, so damn near 12 hours before I'll be out. Um, yeah, so I'm just putting, putting this on camera. Um, the last two nights, so today is Sunday, so Saturday night and Friday night, those two nights, actually, and Sunday night, which will be tonight, three nights, um, out of the whole week, the Planet Fitness that's up here closes at, like, 8 o'clock or, like, 9 o'clock, some weird early hours and shit like that, so... Um, the last two nights they've actually had cops sitting up at the um, Planet Fitness which is right next door to a bowling alley which is open until midnight every day um, but because you know I didn't I didn't have any business there I, I didn't want to stop and when I saw the cop cars I just kept driving so I've actually been parking at my job uh, for the last two nights my boss actually told me it was okay he said that and in case of an emergency, um, I can park it. I can park at work overnight, and if anyone has a problem, then to give him, give them his number and and let him know. Um, so I'm gonna consider like this an emergency. Every night really is an emergency if you if you can't just go to sleep after work. So it's weird that I'm like, um. I'm back to, you know, the, the program of van life, which is like, this comes with it, you know? Um, so I'm thinking about, you know, trying to figure out, I'm still, I've only been here for like a week, a little over a week here in, uh, Forsyth County, Georgia. So I need to figure out some places that are free to park at overnight. Um, so that'll probably be my next order of business. Yeah. I thought the first night I saw them, I thought it was like, a coincidence. I was like, oh cool, it's a, it's a Friday night and everything's closed because I got there, I got off of work at 11.30 so even the bowling alley was closed at 12 o'clock. And uh, the second night I saw him I was like, this isn't a coincidence. So that's my current, only really the big biggest news I have to report is just finding parking. Um, one of, one of the bigger struggles of van life. Um, I don't really see any other vans or RVs stopping here, resting here. They're more just driving through. So, um, you know, for now, the, my job seems to be working. The people, uh, the neighbors know about my van. My boss knows about my van. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I have the next couple days off. RV parks or uh, truck stops are just kind of, uh, I can't afford them right now. Well, they're just like out of my price range, you know. It's just uh, impractical for me to be spending that uh, money. So, yeah, I'm just going to figure out where I can park for free next couple of days. Not much else to report. Oh, yeah, I met a dude. Very special person who sells um, cartridges. It's still very illegal here, so I can't be, like, waving it around like I'm in Arizona or Colorado. But... I got me some THC, finally, dabbing myself out of sobriety, one puff at a time. It's great. Um, this may be a short video. Yeah. Uh, this is basically a short video. That's been my biggest dilemma for the last couple of days, is just um, staying clear of the, of the police. You know, I know it's, I stick out with this van so, you know, a part of cracking the code or decoding the police is that I've known, even though, you know, uh, a cab and fuck the police, all that shit all day and night is be actually being polite. Um, it's actually being like overly polite and like, um, going along with their program, which is that they have authority. The, the reality is no one has authority over me. Um, I don't care what you're wearing. Um, uh, but yeah. 
that's that's part of it is being overly polite to police and like uh yes sir and no sir and yes ma'am no ma'am so you can just get on your way um maybe even ask them if they know where the fuck i can sleep well do you have any suggestions actually a cop actually gave me a suggestion one night um he said you know you're like two miles outside of a camping area and i just went two miles up the road and sure enough i found like a free camping area uh so yeah that's part of my reality right now is adjusting to uh just adjusting to georgia still other than that like it's been great you know there's so much like sunshine and and rain <laughs> a lot of fucking rain i'm starting to believe that it only rains in georgia but maybe it's just like their rainy season right now <laughs> um yeah my dog's chill my van's chill nothing nothing really much else going on i'm i'm medicated I'm trying to stay elevated you know all right See you when I see you.